everyone, I'm Celine from Blue Cala Patterns and welcome to the video for the Winterberry Wallet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go over the various parts of the wallet with you um, along with the cutting chart just so that you can easily identify the different parts and then you can choose your fabric accordingly. So hopefully you've uh, printed or looked at the pattern. So on the first page, um, we do have the supplies. So you don't need a whole lot. You need uh, a fat quarter of uh, the main exterior fabric and then a fat quarter of the accent fabric. So in this case, uh, in this wallet here, I've used natural cork. And uh, for your lining fabric, you'll need a bit more only because card slots take a lot of fabric. So you're going to need three quarters of a yard. And I'm assuming you're going to be using uh, quilting cotton, which is 44 inches wide approximately, sometimes less. You're also going to need some fusible woven interfacing. I'm using my blue calla woven interfacing. I'm using the medium for the exterior parts. And then I'm using my lightweight for the interior parts. You're also going to need a tiny bit of Decaville light and some kind of firm sew-in interfacing. I'm going to be using Peltex. Uh, it's Peltex 70, which is the sew-in version. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of, uh, you don't need any hardware, hardly. Um, all you need are a, a two magnetic snaps, but you must use one 14 millimeter. So I sell these on my website and they come in packs of two. There's a 14 millimeter size, which is very small. That's this size right here. And then there's an 18 millimeter size, which is slightly bigger. And you'll see that here underneath this tab. Other than that, you're going to need uh, zippers. So for the main zipper closure here, you're going to need a seven, seven inch zipper or seven inches of zipper tape. So whether you're using a pre-made zipper or zipper tape, you need seven inches. Um, if you're using a pre-made zipper, you're going to just trim off the ends of the zipper so that you have exactly seven inches of uh, zipper teeth or zipper coil. You're also going to need a either a six inch zipper or eight inches of zipper tape for this exterior zipper pocket. So make sure that you read carefully the pattern pieces section at the bottom of page two uh, because there are a few pattern pieces where you need to print out two copies and I'll show you why. So for example, I mentioned here the slip pocket back panel pattern piece. You'll notice there's an exterior solid line and then an interior dash line. So there are four different pattern pieces that have this type of situation where there's two lines. So all of those pattern pieces, you're going to cut out two, you're sorry, you're going to print out two copies and you cut out one copy at that exterior solid line and then you cut out the second one at the interior dashed line. Okay, so there are four pieces you're going to do that with. You're going to do that with the slip pocket back panel, the main body piece, the slip pocket tab piece, and the snap tab piece. Now on page three, and that's what we're gonna go over right now, and we're gonna do that along with the cutting chart, which is on the next page. So on page four, you have a cutting chart, and these are all the different pieces you need to cut, and what they are called. If they are cut to measurements, I've included the dimensions, but most of the piece pattern pieces are rectangular or square, and so I've included those dimensions as well in the cutting chart. And then I've just marked up here um, what um, you need to cut out in, using that pattern piece. So exterior one, exterior two, which is fabric, cork, or vinyl. So that's your accent fabric. Exterior one, that's the main fabric here. Lining fabric. So I've kind of grouped it all. Um, lining fabric as one, but I used uh, a variety of different prints for my lining fabrics. Uh, so I have, I think, only two. Yeah, so here I've got a lining fabric in the pocket card slots, this main lining piece, and then the exterior pocket here. 
I have a little bit of lining fabric inside. Then you're going to need, uh, then there's the fusible woven interfacing, the deck of the light, and the firm sew-in interfacing, and I'm using Paltex for that. So let's start by going through the different uh, pieces of the wallet, uh, and I'm going to use the cutting chart. So I'll just go down through the cutting chart. Some of them are strictly uh, interfacing pieces. I'll mention to you where they go in the wallet, but... Um, you can't, some of them you can't really see. So <clears throat> the first is the main body. So if I open up my wallet this way, this is your main body piece right here. Your main body firm interfacing, that's a piece that you can't see. So there's two pieces of firm sewing interfacing. One is here and one is here. So they're two separate pieces. So those are inside the layers of your wallet. The slip pocket lining piece. So you're going to be using the main body pattern piece to cut both this main body piece and then the main body lining piece, which is just, you'll see there's a, a slip pocket lining cut line. So you're going to be folding your pattern piece at that line. And you're going to have to really fold this in. But you're going to be using this portion here and you're going to cut this lining piece that we see inside the wallet here. So I used I used the same as my exterior fabric here, um, but you could use lining fab fabric for that. It doesn't really show unless you open up the pocket. So this is your slip pocket lining piece right here. Then the slip pocket back panel piece. So that's the piece that I was showing you earlier when I was explaining the different uh, the two copies of the pattern piece that you need to have. So that's the piece that you see right here. So that's your slip pocket back panel. And you can also refer, the. I have a black and white printer, but if you have a color printer, then you can also refer to all of the different parts um, using these pictures. The snap tabs. So these are your snap tabs. Okay, they have your 14 millimeter magnetic snap and they keep your wallet closed. Um, your zipper facing, so that's a piece that you can't see, but it's a facing piece that we use to create this rectangular opening for your exterior zipper pocket. Your main zipper pocket lining, so that's these two pieces right here. That's the main zipper pocket lining pieces. Your exterior zipper pocket lining, so that's this exterior zipper pocket. If you open it up, these are those lining pieces right here. Your zipper band. The zipper band is this band piece that is going to be attached to your main zipper. And then your curved band is this piece here. And I call it the curved band because it has uh, rounded corners. The main lining. So that's what you see here. That's the back. So it also you also have two um, large slip pockets here behind your card slots. And then there's the card slot pieces. So you have two pieces here. Of course, they've all been folded up, but they're actually quite large. Um, so you have a total of 12 card slots in this wallet. So six here, six here. Your zipper tabs. So that's these two pieces here and here. And then your slip pocket tab. That's this uh, tab closure here. And unfortunately, I'm using my phone to uh, film, but um, yeah, I have an iPhone 11 and it fits just very snugly in this pocket. And the tab is just to make sure your phone doesn't fall out. Of course, you don't have to use it for your phone. You can use it for whatever you like. So those are all the different pieces of the wallets. Of the, sorry, of the wallet, just one wallet. So now we're going to go through the cutting chart again, but this time I'm going to show you all of the pieces that you need to cut. So for the main body pattern piece, that's this piece here. And of course for this piece here, it has an inside dash line. So you should have two copies of this pattern piece. This one is going to be used to cut your exterior fabric. And this piece is going to be used to cut your decaville. So here is the 
the main body. So this is my exterior fabric. So whenever you see this fabric, that's my exterior one. A matching piece of interfacing, and I used my medium weight woven interfacing. And then the piece of Decaville Light, which I cut using this piece. Now, we're also going to need to cut out this box um, and then cut out the same box in the piece of Decaville. So I'm going to do that a little bit later. We'll set that aside. And we can set aside these pieces. Um, so the next thing you're going to need in the list is the main body firm interfacing. And these are just small pieces of firm sewing interfacing. Um, I used Peltex and they are cut to measurements. So the measurements are there in the chart and you'll need two pieces. Then the slip pocket lining piece, which we are also uh, using this pattern piece, but we're just using this top portion. So you'll see there's a note on the pattern, the pattern piece that you have to fold. You fold the pattern piece at the slip pocket lining cut line. And then you're going to have to, because you don't want this to interfere, you're going to have to fold this like this so it doesn't get into, in the way of cutting. Okay, and then you're going to use this portion to cut your slip pocket lining piece. Now you'll notice something really important. These are mirror image and you need them to be mirror image because we're going to be placing them right sides together and then sewing here. So make sure when you are cutting, because I have wasted a lot of fabric by not paying attention, make sure that these are mirror image. That's your main body and that's your slip pocket lining piece. Next is the slip pocket back panel. And I showed you this earlier. It has the two different pattern pieces. So using the larger pattern piece, you're going to cut one exterior fabric. Now I made mine match, um, but if you want to use a contrasting fabric, of course you can go ahead and do that. And then one piece of matching fusible woven interfacing. And again, I'm using my medium weight. And then using the Pattern piece cut out at the inside dash line, your Dacaville light. Okay, so for the, the snap tabs, the slip pocket tab works the same way as the snap tabs. So uh, I'll explain that one later when we get to it in the chart. But for now, I have, so you have two options for your snap tab. You can use fabric or you can use a non-fraying material like cork or vinyl. So I'm using natural cork. Um, I do like to seal the edges of my natural cork anyways, because sometimes it can fray just a tiny little bit. Um, if you are using cork or vinyl like I am, then you're going to use the pattern piece, the snap tab pattern piece that is cut along the inside dash line. And the reason why we're doing that is because we are going to just place these wrong sides together and we're going to sew them together. If you want to use fabric for your snap tab, then you need to cut your exterior pieces along that outside solid line. And then you're going to be placing those right sides together and sewing them and then trimming your, your seam allowance. So we'll cover that a little bit later. Now, if you're using fabric, you'll note that in the cutting chart and on the pattern piece, you're also going to need to cut out matching fusible woven interfacing, so four pieces of that as well, and two pieces of Decoville Light, but you're going to use the smaller pattern piece here for the Decoville Light. And we'll talk about uh, Decoville Light when we're supposed to fuse those on um, a little bit later. The zipper facing piece. That's this piece here, and you just need one exterior fabric and one matching fusible woven interfacing, and this time I'm using the lightweight woven interfacing. Your main zipper pocket lining, so that, again, just a reminder, that's these two pieces here. Okay, so you're going to cut those two pieces, two lining fabric pieces, and then two matching fusible woven interfacing. 
Same for the exterior zipper pocket lining. Sorry, the exterior zipper pocket lining. Yes, so that is these pieces right here, these two pieces. Okay, so you need two lining fabric and two fusible woven interfacing. Your zipper band. So uh, you can use fabric if you want for these. Um, I've decided to use uh, the same natural cork, so I'm not going to add fusible woven interfacing to these. However, if you want to use fabric for yours, you should also uh, cut out some matching woven interfacing that you're going to fuse to the wrong side. Your main lining. So this is this piece is cut on the fold. And make sure that you pay attention to the direction of the arrow. That should be, if you're using a directional print, that should be the direction of your, your print. And you should have one lining fabric and one matching fusible woven interfacing. The card slots. So pay very close attention in the cutting chart to these. For these, you're going to cut the lining fabric. So there's two of them here. You're going to cut them at one measurement and then you're going to cut your fusible woven interfacing but you'll see there's some different dimensions for these two. They need to be cut much smaller because we don't want any interfacing on along the edges because it's going to be too bulky to sew. Your zipper tab pieces, the dimensions are in the cutting chart. These are just tiny little pieces and we're going to be adding those to each end of our seven inch zipper. And then the last thing is the slip pocket tab. So for the slip pocket tab, again, it's the same thing as the snap tab. If you're using fabric, you cut along the outside solid line. If you're using a non-fraying material, then you'll cut, you'll cut your pieces along the inside dash line. So that's what I've done. Then you're also going to uh, cut out a piece of firm sewing interfacing. Now it's too big right now. We're going to trim it again a little bit later. Now if, again, if you're using fabric for your slip pocket tab, you're also going to need to cut out the matching woven interfacing. And then you'll also want to cut out a piece of Decaville light. And the Decaville light is going to be cut along this line, the inside dash line, not the exterior solid line. So wherever you see uh, Decaville light pieces, Decaville light should be applied on top of the fusible woven interfacing. So for all of these pieces that we just went through, if there is a matching piece of fusible woven interfacing, you should start by fusing that to the wrong side of all of the matching pieces. Then for the pieces that have Decaville light cut along the smaller in inside dash line, that's going to be fused to the wrong side over top of the woven interfacing. So here on the slip, slip pocket back panel, I would just center that and then I would fuse that over top the woven interfacing on the wrong side. Now for the main body piece, we need to do a little bit extra. You're going to see this rectangle box. We're going to start by cutting out this box. Now the reason why we're cutting out a box from our Decaville, that's because we're going to be installing this exterior zipper pocket in that area. And if you have, if you're trying to uh, create a, an opening for your zipper pocket in Decaville, it's just too stiff and it's not going to be very fun for you. So you start by cutting this out on the pattern piece and then you place the pattern piece over top of your Decaville. And then I prefer to draw out the box and then cut it out. So if you're a little bit more confident than I am, you can just go ahead and use the pattern piece to cut it out right away. But instead I like to just draw it out. Okay, and then I can just cut that out. And then once you've cut out this rectangle box, then you can fuse that to the wrong side of your main body.
Okay, so once you have your fusible woven fuse to the wrong side of your main body, exterior piece, then you're going to take this and you're going to center it on the wrong side. So there is about um, half an inch of space all the way around. So you're going to want to, the most important part is here. So you're going to want to make sure there's half an inch of space between the edge of the fabric and the edge of your Decaville light. Unfortunately, I just realized I was working from an older copy. You should actually have a rounded corner here with the stop, with the word stop pointing to this line. So please ignore that. Made a mistake. And this would also have a rounded corner. So this is it for the uh, cutting and uh, preparation interfacing video. In the next video, we're going to start the assembly of our wallet.